In this video, we'll learn how to hand build some simple handles. First, we'll start with slab construction. Remember to always smooth out any unwanted texture from your slab before beginning. You can use a ruler and other straight edges to help you if you're going for a simple straight handle. Ball up all extra clay to keep it fresh for use on future handles and other designs. Once you cut your handle shapes, you can go thick, thin, play around with different design ideas, but regardless of what design you go with, make sure you smooth down the edges of your slab. You wanna round those edges out so that it's comfortable to hold in your hand. Sharp edges do not make someone want to pick up your mug. You can use just a tiny bit of water on your fingertips to round out your edges, but don't make your piece slimy. To avoid cracking, you can slowly bend that handle into your shape. Think about what's going to be comfortable in the hand when you use that handle. Again, slowly shaping any handle designs that you want to try. If you bend too quickly, you can cause cracking in your handles, especially if your clay is not plastic enough. Now let's look at coil construction. As you're rolling out your coils, if you're getting flat spots, make sure to wiggle those out. Roll from the center of the coil, bringing your hands out slowly. And don't be afraid to cut your coil into smaller, more manageable pieces to make it easier to work with. When you're happy with your coil, don't forget to smooth out any tiny cracks there as well. Again, you don't want to make that coil slimy, just the tiniest bit of water will do. Then you can slowly bend your coil handle into shape. Be sure to smooth your coil handle. You're going for quality craftsmanship because someone will touch that handle and pick up your piece by it. So again, make sure it's comfortable. You can try all sorts of neat handle designs. Here's a braided handle using thinner coils. So you can see I'm just rolling those coils a little bit thinner. And in this one, I'll braid to create a coil handle. As with any other handle, think about how it will feel in the hands. Will it be comfortable? Is it smooth? And make sure you bend it into shape. You can also take any basic handle design that we're looking at today and make it your own. Customize it and add more detail to that basic handle. Maybe cutting a fun shape at the bottom, like this nice little arrow. You could carve designs lightly, so that way if you're not happy with something, you can just erase mistakes with smoothing. In this example, I'm adding negative space to the handle by punching through. Experiment with your own handle. Just remember before attaching it, make sure that your handle has dried to leather hard. It should feel the same consistency, the same brightness level as your cup that you're attaching it to. Have fun making handles.